I'm Anil Kumar and here is an exercise for you to write a product of uh, exponents as a single exponent. So the question here is simplify then write as single power x to the power of 2 over 3 times x to the power of 3 over 4 divided by x to the power of 1 over 6. Right? So let me rewrite the question. We have x to the power of 2 over 3 times x to the power of 3 over 4 divided by x to the power of 1 over 6. So the rule is whenever you are multiplying with the same base exponents get added and when you divide they get subtracted. So we could write this as x to the power of 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4 minus 1 over 6. Right? Now we need to work out this fraction. Correct? So let's just, let us do it on the right side. Okay, so let's evaluate the fraction part. So we need to take common denominator and then find the answer. So we have 3 over 4 plus, I mean 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4 minus 1 over 6, right? So the common denominator here is 12, right? So we could write this with the common denominator of 12. So to make this 12, I have to multiply by 4. So I get 8. I have to multiply this by 3. So 9 minus 2. And that gives you 9 minus 2 is 7. You can add that 7 to 8, so you get 15 over 12, right? It's actually better to first add 17 minus 2, 15 over 12. So you get your answer as x to the power of 15 over 12. So, so that is one way of doing it, right? You can also think 15 over 12 as equal to, if you divide by 12, you get one whole, right? And then you get 3 over 12, do you understand? But 3 over 12 can be simplified and you can write this as 1 whole and 1 over 4. Right? Therefore, this can also be simplified and we could actually write this as x to the power of, so it is like 5 over 4, you understand? So x times x to the power of 1 over 4. You get the idea. It could be written like this also. Now, since we have to write as a single power, now, or you could just reduce it from here. Let me reduce from here. If I am divide both by 3 is a common factor, we get 5 over 4. So that could be your perfect answer, right? So there are different ways of doing it. But in this case, since we are looking for single power, so that should be our answer, right? So this is the right answer, okay? So that is how we could do it. But these are alternate ways of looking into the expression which we have. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.